Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And my hairdo seems to get funnier and funnier all the time. I swear it does. Anyway, the most amazing news we could possibly have for today, and it actually happened yesterday, was Julian Assange gets to board a flight from London. Uh, he is actually free. I believe he's on bail, uh, is what it is. Let me see if I get this to play. And, uh, and finally, finally, this man who has been held a prisoner for years uh, has actually freed uh, just because he told the truth. And uh, so my, my condolences uh, to him, to his family, for all that he has suffered. Uh, his wife contacted me back when Trump was leaving office. Uh, hoping that Trump was going to pardon him at the time, and uh, I found out at that time that Trump would not pardon him. And a lot of people thought that he would. I know Tucker Carlson did a clip uh, encouraging the president to pardon uh, Julian Assange, and then a good friend of mine said that Trump won't because Trump is strongly believes that uh, he violated America, and so therefore he should be brought to justice. So let's hope this man gets his full freedom before Trump comes into power, because that could change. <clears throat> Moving on to another news here real quick here. Also, um, Zero Hedge here. Let's see, Netanyahu, I better drop that. Uh, Netanyahu ready to wind down Gaza operations to battle Hezbollah in the north. Uh, this definitely is something that is on the horizon. Uh, this news clip here uh, from uh, WION <clears throat> is speaking about Hezbollah getting ready to battle uh, battle the United, excuse me, battle Israel. And, uh, and I do believe this is going to be staged event. I say staged event, not the war itself, but Israel will take advantage of this war and Hezbollah's technology, I believe, to take out the Dome of the Rock in order to bring about rebuilding of the Third Temple. And I, what's really strange is I already kind of know this uh, because I know that uh, a friend of mine is uh, involved in fabricating uh, these are some of the doors that are being fabricated for the third temple on the inside of the building. They cannot, none of this can be fabricated on site. Uh, they are building these things and many more objects that will be built for the quote unquote third temple. And uh, so I, I do believe that they're getting ready to do all of this. Let's play this little clip here from WION uh, on the their Israel news. war is on the edge of the un. The Hezbollah-Israel war is on the edge of the unimaginable. It could descend into doomsday with one Notice Hezbollah strike Demona on Israel's nuclear, nuclear facility at Dimona, the, the home of Israel's nuclear weapons. Israel is estimated to possess 80 nuclear bombs. If their nuclear facility is hit, it could be mass destruction through radiation and then the Israeli response. The nuclear cloud has no... So <clears throat> there is a good possibility that Hezbollah would strike the Demona plant. I know Gary Lowry, actually, he's the one that sent me this video here. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have to probably have Gary back on again here in the very near future because Gary actually uh, saw this in a vision years ago that Hezbollah would target the Demona nuclear power plant. Uh, and then all you know what would break loose. And if I'm not mistaken, if I remember right, Gary said that missile would come from Syria. Uh, so I could only imagine then Israel would justify in obliterating uh, uh, Syria as well, especially Damascus. So I wanted to share that with you. And, uh, and let's see here what else we had here. Oh, also too, this is uh, Gideon Levy. He is a... Israeli Jewish uh, reporter, and uh, I want you to hear him as he speaks. Oh, There's, I'm in Israel about Israel 
in his own opinions there. He is uh, an Israeli, and he's proud to be an Israeli, but he is also concerned about the sins of his own people. Listen in. I was born in Israel. I even perceive myself as an Israeli patriot. I care about Israel. I belong to Israel. I'm attached to Israel. Don't speak about symmetria because there is no symmetria. I would even suggest that there is no conflict. Was there a French-Algerian conflict? There was a brutal French occupation in Algeria, which came to its end. And there is no Israeli-Palestinian conflict. There is a brutal Israeli occupation, which must come to its end one way or the other. In our backyard, there is a regime which is today by far one of the most cruel, brutal tyrannies on earth. And I know what I say because I cover it for 40 years. And this regime cannot be defined but as an apartheid. Two peoples live on one piece of land. One people has all the rights in the world. And I'm talking now only about the occupied territories. One people has all the rights in the world. The other people has no rights whatsoever. It looks like apartheid. It talks like apartheid. It is apartheid. And no. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, Gideon Levy. Uh, we still might be able to get him on here on Israeli News Live. We've talked to him before about coming on. Amazing, amazing journalist and really appreciated. Uh, listen, tonight. We'll be in Atlanta, Georgia, so pray for our travels. Me and my wife, we're going to a LifeWave Life conference there. I put it in the video yesterday. I'll put the information again tonight. Uh, if you have been thinking about wanting to try LifeWave and you'd like to know more about it and you're near Atlanta and would like to join us there tonight at 730 uh, we'd love to have you come. Uh, email us, so Benoon, x 39 at gmail.com. That's B-E-N-N-U-N, x 39 at gmail.com. Let us know you're coming. It's very important that we know because uh, we have to be able to let people know that, uh, that, that are our friends that are going to be there, that we've got X number of people coming uh, so they can kind of prepare a place for us all to be able to sit together. And that's the other beautiful thing. We did actually get to meet you as well. And so we really look forward to that. So it's only this evening only. Uh, they ask you to be there at 7.30. It starts at 8 o'clock. But I wanted to share with you, these are just testimonies from this is at info.com. You can look at that website. Uh, look at a few testimonies here real quick. These are not people that we know. But we've had a lot of testimonies, but listen to some of these. He lost social skills. He, he lost the ability to Her speak, son. and he lost a majority of his motor skills. My son was unable to ride a bike. He was unable to swing on a swing, and he was unable to uh, ride a scooter. At nine and a half years old, most children at that age are able to do those simple tasks. I looked at every alternative option to help my son. I went through stem cell injections. We went through hyperbaric chamber, biomedical treatments, anything natural and holistic and non-traditional, try to give him a better quality of life. None of those things gave any great gains. The only thing that worked for him was the X39 patch. That patch has helped facilitate motor, speech, and social interaction. My son is making friends. My son is riding a bike. He's riding a scooter. He's swinging on a swing. And best yet, just as of recently, he's been able to put words together and he's starting to use words. It has been a life-changing experience. And as a mother who's looking for more for their child, how could you not try this patch? So I say, as a mom to you, I'm speaking into you. Absolutely amazing, amazing. And uh, so, uh, listen, join us tonight. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And by the way, if you want to get the product, I'll put in the description below the link to this amazing product, lifewave.com forward slash Benoon, B-E-N-N-U-N. Sorry, John, hit the wrong button. Have him call me again.